Good morning, family. Hope you're having a wonderful, blessed day. Uh, Grammy's having a wonderful, blessed day. Um, I've been a little under the weather, and we've had a little bit of stuff that's happened. I prayed for snow. Be careful what you pray for, because we ended up with about 10 inches of snow over a week's time, and uh, we still have mountains of snows on the corner. We don't have any snow on the ground. It's pretty much melted. Uh, but we had a lot of snow. We had two main water valves break, so we spent most of last week without water. And even though I was able to go out and uh, get snow and melt it and we were able to wash up, we weren't able to tap a full bath. And I told somebody, I was not going to let you guys see that mess. <laughs> it was in a mess, but we were clean. We had water. We were able to flush our commodes. Uh, I was able to wash dishes. And my husband, uh, for the last year and a half has always bought a couple of gallons of water and we have a shelf in our uh, garage that has emergency water so we were fine we had drinking water and uh, so but we just didn't have water for full baths and stuff like that there's a lot of other people that were uh, worse off in town than we were but the National Guards came in and we had wonderful people that worked for our water department that worked around the clock in frigid temperatures zeros degree and single digit temperatures to try to get our water back on and then it took several a few days for the water pressure to come back because it had been completely depleted so but we were so happy when we woke up saturday morning and we had full water pressure and all of us stood in line to get a shower it was wonderful it was a hallelujah moment <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah for water so anyway i'm here to bring encouragement to you today uh, I have missed you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm having a little bit of uh, technical difficulties, too. I just want to kind of let you know. I, I, I film with a tablet that my husband bought me, and I put the biggest memory card that you could get in it. I've done everything to make it work, and the last two videos I put out, I was very disappointed in them. I won't lie to you. Uh, they're very choppy because it would be, I would think it was taping, and it had shut off. And so when you're making a recipe, you know, I'm not like Paula Dean where I have one in the oven and one on the stove. I'm just taking you along for uh, a regular recipe and we're making it like, you know, I'm making it with you while we're doing it. And then we eat it when we get done because uh, that's what we like to do. We like to eat it. <laughs> so I've been having problems with my tablet and it's kind of put me off from trying to make a recipe because I'm I'm, co I'm cooking and I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm, do I'm doing. And then I'm having to pay attention. Having, having to, that's another southern word. I'm having to uh, pay attention to the camera to make sure that the light's still blinking. And when I'm doing encouragement, uh, it's usually not a cutaway for anything. So it's a straight video, so they're they're good. So we may have to do some straight videos that, that uh, maybe have some content in it that um, may be just me at the refrigerator digging around in a drawer. But... I'm going to get something better. I want to give you guys good videos and spend quality time with you where I can say, hey, how y'all doing? And be myself. And I'm not having to be frustrated because I'm looking to see if there's a camera light on. And then when it's not, then I have to go back and try to make something where I've already cooked it, where I've already done it. And so, because I do enjoy them. And I have missed you guys, I had somebody hit me on Facebook last night, and she said, I'm worried about Grammy. We haven't seen Grammy. And I said, I wrote on there, I said, Grammy's just fine, but you didn't want to see Grammy last week. She was uh, stinky. <laughs> I was stinky last week, so anyway. But oh, my goodness, I tell you, just thank God for the little things like showers. Oh, my goodness, showers and being able to turn on the sink. I don't know how many buckets of snow I shoveled and brought in the house and boiled so I could do dishes. And, you know, go out and look for a spot that nothing's been in and you got clean snow and you dig it up and you bring it in, you boil it so that it's good and clean and then you filter it and then you put it in there and you wash. Because I can't stand to have dishes. I can't. I like to have my house clean. So I even mopped, mopped the floor with some snow water because the, the tracking in and out of the snow. Oh, it was, a, it was a good old pioneering week last week. I learned a lot. So anyway, my encouragement today is I was reading in Galatians yesterday and I read uh, Galatians 1 and 10. And it said, For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please man? And this is what I underlined. It said, For if I yet please man, I should not be the servant of Christ. So, I have dealt with this with YouTube. And you guys know, I, the ones who have followed me. I wanted to make sure that I was people pleasing. But I had to come to a place, when I read this, I thought, Woo, 
That's for me. That's for me. But I'm going to share it with you. We have to come to a place where we please God. And if that upsets somebody, then it upsets them. Because it's not the war, it's not us that really is upset them. It's that our beliefs upset them. And I'm just going to tell you, and I put this on my personal Facebook page, but this book, if it says no, then it's no. God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. He never changes. He set up a way, a, pl a plan of life for us to live. And I'm going to tell you, it's a good way. Love one another. I, I, say, I say this all the time. I don't like to want to repeat myself, but love one another. Uh, be your brother's keeper. Do the things that we're supposed to do. Be godly. Uh, go to the house of the Lord. Uh, serve your fellow man. Uh, do the things that you're supposed to be, be. Be the light of the world. Okay. So, if we are doing these things, and we are teaching out of this Bible, then we are going to step on people's toes. It's called conviction. Because the soul knoweth better than the flesh. So I am going to please God. And along the way, I hope that I have make lots of wonderful friends. And so that's kind of helped me. I read this and I thought, you know, I'm just going to tell you a little story. You know, Miss, you know, Grandma Nene and her stories. Well, Harold is a Baptist. There's not anything. And when I say this, I look, we're all going, if you got it right here, we're going. Okay, that's what that, that's what counts. What's right in your heart. Okay, but I was a, a different. I had a different belief, a different way of worshiping, and for years I held back because I didn't want to offend Harold. I didn't want to offend my husband. I didn't want to offend, you know, scare my children, offend my children, and so I didn't teach them in the ways that I believed, uh, in the way that I worship. And so I got shocked by the unbelief in, in my older children. And I thought, have I, I've done an injustice to them. I have not showed them the way. Because my husband's not, he's a Baptist, but he's not that great of a Baptist. Like, we don't go to church every Sunday like we're supposed to. I'm in, the, I'm in looking for a church. And I told my husband, he's going to church with me. We're getting into a church this year. We've gone to churches and we've, I just haven't found that one that just, that's where we need to go. And so I'm in the market for a good church in my area. And I want one that works in the, in the gifts of the spirit. There's things that I'm looking for, for myself, for my growth on myself. Um, I also want it to have a good youth ministry because I have a 13 year old that I want to get involved in that. Um, I wanted to have a good men's ministry and women's ministry because my husband needs other men who have the same beliefs uh, that can teach him. Uh, and I need that. I need that woman's encouragement also. So I'm in the market. So just pray that God will lead my, lead my feet to where we need to go. But anyway, so I held back. So, you know, there was one day, uh, and I'm going to share this story. Uh, there was a tornado that came through town and, um, uh, I didn't know where my husband was. He works at a park uh, for the, he works for RDOT, but he works for a park system. And um, sometimes he gets caught out on the road and sometimes he's at the park. Well, I, I thought he would be at the park. I didn't know he was out on the road. But all of a sudden, I, inside of my, inside of me, I, I heard the Lord say, pray, pray. And the third time I heard him say, pray. And I, and we were, we were having tornado warnings around us. And my little girl was already scared. But I went and I sat in a chair. And all of a sudden, intercessional prayer came on me. And I began to speak in tongues. She had never saw me do this. I'd, I've done it, but I just did it in, in, in uh, private. But at that time, it was time to pray. And I began to pray, and I began to call out my husband's name. And I said, Lord, I don't know where he's at, but I feel that he's in danger. Please take care of him. I don't know. And I'm praying, in the, and also praying intercessional prayer through tongues and the, and the Holy Spirit. Well, I want you to know when my husband came home that evening, he said, honey, he said, you won't believe this. He said, I was on the, on a road and he said, I was having to put up flood barriers. And he said, all of a sudden my phone went off and said, there is a tornado in your area. He said, and the rain was just whipping him. He said, I had, it took everything he had to get into the truck because the wind was so strong. He got down to the end of the road and turned 
He never saw the tornado, but he was in the rain shear of it. I want you to know where he was standing. He took me and showed me where he was standing. We had an elderly man that was killed. He was in a trailer. It killed him, throwed him out of his trailer, tore up, went through a field. He was in front of a house putting up a, a, a barrier to let people know that the, the road was flooded. Uh, it picked that house up and spun it around. He was right in front of it. I didn't know where he was at. So, but my little girl didn't understand what I had done. She was like, Mom. And it was kind of a cute thing. She said, I, I didn't know you could speak Spanish. <laughs> and I said, baby, that wasn't Spanish. That was in, in, in ancestral prayer came through me for daddy. And uh, she was like, what is that? And so I began to explain it to her. She was probably about 11 years old, 10 or 11 years old at the time. And so she was very interested in it. But I still didn't push it on her or anything like that. I am a person that really does believe that the Holy Spirit is a gentleman. He doesn't push his stuff on people. I have seen people choke their children down with Christianity so much that they don't want any part of it when they're older. So I try to spoon feed my children. Uh, but they know if they need prayer, they know who to come to. They know that, that come on to mama, she's going to do some praying. But I've decided that I'm not going to hide who I am anymore. I need to be in a church where I am fed in the way that I believe. If if you And I don't want to put religious names on uh, things. But you know that if you go to a church and you're being spiritually fed, whatever you believe, that's where you need to be. If you, It doesn't matter what church you're in as long as they're serving King Jesus and the Lord and uh, they believe in salvation. And uh, But if you're being fed, that's where you need to be. So, I have decided that I'm going to be me. I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a God pleaser. And uh, I'm going to love you guys. And I know you love me. I feel it. And I, I love it. I think we're going to have a live uh probably a live visit, visit this weekend. Uh, since I'm having problems with my tablet, I probably will be doing some some uh, more live things where we're together and doing something. I don't know what we'll do, but you sure know we're going to do some chatting. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. I hope you're encouraged. Just remember Galatians 1 and 10 was where I read from today. And we are going to be a God pleaser and not a man pleaser. And I love each and every one of you. And I hope you have a blessed, wonderful week. Uh, I hope to have a video in a couple of days. Uh, I don't know. It just depends on this thing. And uh, also, I'm cutting down the way I'm eating. So uh, we're going to be doing more gardening. It's just going to get springtime, and we're going to be outside, and we're going to do some gardening together. And uh, all righty. Well, I'm Grammy Nene. Love you. Goodbye. So you guys all know that Grammy's been praying for snow. And uh, the Lord heareth my prayer, and the Lord answered. And yesterday we received here, I believe it was eight and a half inches of snow. We woke up to a temperature of one degrees this morning. Um, the city, the whole city that I live in is without water. We had a water main br uh, bust. And uh, I believe our tower is all the way frozen. So we have some wonderful men and women who are out working to try to fix that for us today. But what I'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to take you guys on a tour of the snow and the, on my little, the busiest street and on my little piece of land. But I'm also going to feed the birds. Um, the little birds can't get to the ground right now. So. Uh, we've been putting, making sure that we've got seed out every day. So, I'm going to take you guys with me. Let's go out and play in some snow. Okay, let's go.
make a snow angel. Let's make a snow angel. You're never too old to make a snow angel. 